Next day air. All right, let's get this opened right now. What up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today it is Devin and I out here in Denton, semi near the Guggen HQ, man. A couple GoPros on us. A handful of combos over here, including our new SLX XT reel, our new working class zero swim baits, and uh, we're about to go have a bunch of fun at a. And we're about to go have some fun casting at a pond we've hit one time before and caught some good fish, but you guys didn't see it if you didn't go check out Mystery Tackle Box's channel because they're the ones that we sent this video to. So this will be the first time you're seeing this pond hit on our channel. This will probably be the first of a couple bodies of water we hit today, so stay tuned, you guys. We've got a lot in store for you. Let's check this out. It looks like Grass Hero Paradise. I'm going to go straight for the swim jig, and uh, the wind is, like, howling. But we're just on the side of this tree line, though, and so we're kind of being covered from it right here. So we're going to cast out. This is the windblown bank. This could be very good. It could produce, but we had most of our luck last time fishing this spot on the far end where it's a little bit more shallow. So we're going to work this whole thing. Let's have at it. First cast. Let's go along the, uh, well, it gets pretty thick in here. Let's just go straight out, actually. I've got to, I'm just going straight braid today. If you guys are, you may notice. And I don't think it's too big of a deal because whipping through this grass, I'm just going to kind of pop out and get a reaction bite from these fish most likely. So the fact that I am using braid shouldn't be too big of an issue. Perfect bait for this grass right here, my gosh. There's a bass right there in the shallows. A fry. Post spawn over here, okay. Almost had him off that bed right there. I see that bed, dang. We, uh, we probably only had one time to get him with that shock value, but let's see. That's a good sized bass, guys. Let's see if there's any more around here. That's a huge bed. Oh, wow, that's a big bass, too. Here we go. Got him, got him, good sized bass. Got him, yes. Sight cast it right there. Good one, guys. Oh man, just got him off that big bed too. Wow, first cast in there. Yes, look at that right there. That's a hog, boys. First cast off that big bed right there and there's another bass on it. All right guys, Wendy, like I told you, we were behind those trees, but not anymore. Got this guy first cast, or this female, plump, and uh, there should be one more just right there on the bed. I'll explain to you how I got this fish here in just a second. Let's go ahead and get a weight on this thing. There we go, guys. 2.95. I call that getting robbed. I think that's a three pounder. <laughs> I don't know what Devin's got to say about that. I agree. <laughs> first looks. Yep, first, uh, first, first fish out of this pond. I'm stoked, man. All right, let's try and get some more. They've got to be on beds just all around here. I'm gonna see if Devin can scoop up that second one off this bed. And uh, yeah, that'll be that. Reel it in, reel it in, reel it in, reel it in. Yep. Hula popper. Wait, these are expensive. Okay. It like opens up. You want to stop reeling it about that last piece of grass that you see and let them fall. Oh, he's looking at it. Get ready. Keep your line tight. Does he have it? I know he had it. He took it off the bed. He grabbed it! Nice! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he had it for a second. I was like, oh no! <laughs> 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 oh, I had too much slack in my line. I was dumb. <laughs> she just had a little slack and he kind of grabbed it and didn't swim like away from her. But so anyways, it was tough to detect that bite. <laughs> I was like, he's got it! <laughs> I couldn't see it until my line. I saw my line start swimming. I'm like, oh shit. Oh man. Well, nice. <laughs> you don't have to be the best fisherman to catch bed fish apparently. That's awesome. <laughs> Not a three pounder. Definitely the male. Female's got to be right around there too then. All right, what was that? Like third cast, fourth cast, something like that? Wait. Uh, had to get it right there on his bed, but he kept nosing up to it every time. The first time he picked it up, moved it off the bed, I, I missed that hook set. And then the second time, well, y'all saw it. Uh, he had it and swimming away and I didn't 
feel anything until I saw my line swimming. So that was done on that good old Okeechobee Craw Bandito bug. Little guy, let's get him back so he can get back to his bed and make them babies. All right, we may go hit the other bank because we only have a limited amount of time here. We got to go pick up our truck from getting an oil change within the hour, so uh, the clock starts now. So I think I had mentioned it looked post-spawn over here, but those uh, that one female I caught seemed like a pre-spawn honey. It, uh, you know, they're probably just spawning in waves and some are already done with the process and then others are just getting at it. So I'm just scouting this bank, man. They're up very shallow, but their beds are very obvious with this grass here, so pretty easy to spot out. Okay, well, this is a little different. We were hitting them on cranks right here last time, and now it looks like all you're going to be doing right here is frogging. Got him. Oh, just had a bite. No, missed him on the working class. Oh my gosh. Yep, he smacked it. I set the hook and I felt his weight for a second. Hook didn't get him, so close. I didn't bend the hook up on this one like I did on the other one. On the seven, I bent the hook up a little bit. Yeah, this one was hard to bend. They're strong hooks. Smacked it too. All right, we gotta run. All right, guys, we tore that pond up. We gotta go grab the truck from getting its oil changed. Probably do some fishing later. Let's go. All right, we're out here grabbing the truck, but uh, Devin's gonna take that. I'm gonna catch you guys at the house here in just a second. We actually got a package that was just delivered. I think you guys are gonna get excited about this. Oh man, we're here, and look at what we've got. Oh. Next day air, all right, let's get this open right now. New toys, let's see what we're talking about. But to start things off, we actually went to the Guggen Warehouse today, HQ, got some new goodies. It's currently closed, but uh, one of the guys was up there, so I was able to grab a couple things. We got gill goggles. Those are the, uh, the shades I've been rocking with the blue lenses. These ones have just black lenses, though. Yeah, just straight up black and green right there. Gill goggles, can't get enough polarized, gotta have it, man. Fishing off those beds like we were earlier makes all the difference. What else do we get? Grabbed a new Hummer. I got the uh, black though. We have a white, but I wanted to get the black. I've just heard a lot of uh, stories about big fish and the darker colored buzz baits. So I had to grab one of those. We got some new 3.3 inch saucy swimmers. We got them in the magic shad color. We chose magic shad because you can only get them at the warehouse. So just a little something different, a little exclusive. Also grabbed some uh, more lunker logs. We got two sets of watermelon red flake. I like how I did this unboxing. It's kind of nice just picking stuff off the ground and kind of cleaning up your mess as we go here. We also got some new, check this out, Slim Shakes, but these are the new size. This is the uh, Blue Baby Color 8 inch Slim Shakes and like hefty. So for all you shaky head lovers, you now have the larger profile shaky head. You grab some larger <laughs> Dragon Drops. They're 5 inch, which I think is the standard size, but they're just bulked up like these are Dragon Drops on steroids. Also got a couple pairs of Pearl Bandito Bugs, just so we've got a little uh, bed fishing options. These are really good if maybe the beds are a little further out or it's windy and choppy and you can't see the bed very well. You can spot the fish picking up these white plastics easier and that's why a lot of people throw them. You can see them actually getting eaten. Couple more things, getting pretty excited. We got a new Grass Hero. I just wanted to grab a shad color, just uh, something different. You know I've been throwing them left and right in the videos and uh, so had to get a different color. And then also some smaller Kraken Craws. The new Kraken Craws, like you wouldn't believe how tiny they are. They, uh, they're they three inch, they just seem so much smaller. Like this is a creek annihilation tool. Like this thing will get bit. Put this on a Ned rig, look at this. Like that right there is what I'm talking about. But now, the big ticket items. You guys know we've been throwing a lot more swim baits. I hope you're digging that. If not, it's probably not gonna stop. We're just getting started with it. So here's what we got. This is kind of the main reason I wanted to go to the HQ was to pick up some heavier duty fluorocarbon, 25 pound fluorocarbon that we're gonna be spooling up this new reel with. Well, actually we got two new reels because we just got that SLX XT, but we just picked up the big boy. Tranks 400, high gear. This is the one with the power handle. 
Wait till you see this. This is madness right here. I've never got a Shimano in a box this big. We also got a new big bait to throw too. Uh, just had to. Eight inch Huddleston with the ROF5 jig hook. This thing is supposed to just be complete devastation and destruction. So you're gonna see this thing getting thrown a lot. Definitely more into my working class zeros, but I know that everyone loves a good old Huddleston and it was our turn to join the party and grab one of these. I just got the rainbow trout color. It should uh, catch a hog. Tackle Warehouse receipt was $2.99 for the reel and then $31 or $32 for the Huddleston. Yo, this is crazy. No way. <laughs> That's the biggest spool. <laughs> so, Devin and I got, oh, I'm, dude, you have no clue how amped I am about this. So the model that we got is the 400HG. I'm just gonna have to disregard these sirens because I'm ready to talk about this thing. We chose this one uh, for one, because we wanted something completely different and unique for you guys to see, which is this power handle. Just for the content, really, I'm like, okay. And the idea of just cranking a big old bass with this thing, something different and uh, I'm all about it, so we wanted to try this. You could also get it with the regular handle, which I think is even beefed up over Shimano's typical reels, just because of the fact that um, this is made for throwing bigger baits, heavier baits, this is made for catching bigger fish. And so the 400 HG, this thing is also saltwater ready, so we plan on taking this thing out maybe to uh, San Diego with us when we go. I'm just very excited to throw this reel, man, and it's uh, pretty affordable when you look at big, beefy reels to throw for big fish. Let's go ahead and not delay any longer. Take off this Corrado and put the tranks on the Defy swim bait rod. We have taken the party indoors. Devin is actually uh, getting a workout in the garage with uh, our CrossFit box. They've been doing like live zooms three times a day and everyone hops on and does workouts at a time that's convenient for them. So I'm rigging this thing up in here. Uh, we're definitely taking this out as soon as it's rigged up. There's so many opinions on what line to go with. There's like, you know, braid to leader. I even see Tactical Bassin, who I really think is probably like the go-to source for a lot of this stuff. And you know, they said like 65 or 85 pound braid to like a 35 pound leader on a lot of their swim baits, I believe. I'm just gonna go 25 pound. I have a lot of other friends who have recommended, you know, just, this is gonna be great. But here's what I've done for my line setup. <laughs> Using the red gills bag to hold this uh, screwdriver vertically. And then that line is just gonna be Man, this thing holds some serious amount of line. Dang, I'm getting tired over here. I'm like breaking a sweat over here. Like we still have room on this spool to go. Ah, uh, hey, Otis. The 200 yard spool of 25 pound Guggen Squad fluorocarbon is like the exact amount you need for a Tranks 400. Show you guys one quick trick on your Palomar knots too. And I'm to the point where I would just be pulling both ends of my line to tighten the Palomar knot. I've got it rigged over the bait already. But what you may want to do in certain cases is only pull the tag end let me show you what I mean. So by only pulling the tag end, you won't essentially burn your, your main line. Let me show you. So I'm gonna be creeping this down through and I'll show you what I mean. So there we go, we've got it pretty much cinched down. And now let's go ahead and give it that last little bit. That's a 25 pound fluorocarbon Palomar right there. So look, this section of the line, usually when you tighten your Palomar knots down, you'll kind of get that little squiggly a little ways up because you kind of burned it as you had uh, tied it and tightened it up. So now, since we only pulled that tag end, yes, it's going to cost you more line, but if you're tying on something like a swim bait or you really just want to make sure you've got the best protection, I would go ahead and just pull the tag end, sacrifice that little extra amount of line and get you a better knot and keep your main line clean and clear. That's one of those Palomar tips you don't hear very often. All right, y'all, let's not delay. We have decided to bring the new Tranks to a very windy pond this evening and try and get some swim bait fishing in as well as a couple other things, see if we can't get some catches before sunset. Let's go. A lot of research and I'm not sure how to adjust the brakes on this bad boy. That bait does drop really fast. There we go. Brakes are a little loose. Bro. <laughs> hey, I have a question for you. 
Uh, you didn't touch a giant. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I was gonna see if I, uh, I was gonna see how you get the side plate off the train. So I hit open. And do you just kind of pop it, or is there something else I'm missing? The T goes down. Okay, cool. It pivots down. And gotcha. Pop right open. All right, that's it. All right, I'm gonna get this thing dialed in, and hopefully the next call will be with the giant. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Jay going fishing, coming in with those power tips. Now, let's see how we uh increase the brakes on this bad boy i am not too sure yeah i might just have to figure this one out a little later close that close that yep okay try and bend this hook up again all right guys here we go now we can get some time in with the tranks and the swim bait off the dock there's only two of these things and uh i don't want to get out here on this thing while we're on quarantine with somebody else Rather just be us. Liking this power handle, guys. Anytime I'm feeling a little resistance, like I'm going through grass, I'm giving it that quick twitch of the reel. That way he comes swimming out of that grass with authority and maybe a bass comes and pounces on it. little bit of a birdie. We're gonna get these brakes dialed in though. Some brakes. Hey guys, getting tons of emails and questions about uh, variable braking system. Okay, so I just watched a video on adjusting the brakes and it looks as though if we get this off of here and we pop these out. All right, so we popped all those out that back on there lock that let's see if that made a big difference because I'm casting straight into the wind now oh yeah I think it did oh that feels so much more comfortable sweet the brakes are basically maxed out I guess but I'm able to get distance because this bait is just so heavy just under two ounces rigged up with the owner hook if y'all can hear anything over the wind Probably one of my last ones, but yeah. All right, we better split. All right, guys, a beautiful sunset is what we're left with. No bites this evening. This pond is acting a lot different than normal. I didn't see anybody pull a fish out with all the anglers on the bank. No blow-ups, which is not typical. Needless to say, we're going to catch up with you guys back at the house and talk some more about this gear we just got. See you there. All right, guys, coming in with final first impressions and this little review of the tranks, man. We have really got this thing dialed in, actually. We've taken it out a couple more times. Now we're just getting ready to hit the water again. Devin and I uh, went out, and she actually caught a fish on the working class zero citizen that's in one of these videos coming up y'all we got those brakes dialed what you do is you just take off that plate and by pushing those little plastic pieces out there's six of them you can actually max the brakes out and get this thing casting great distance with it maxed out I'm probably just gonna leave it on six for a little bit and kind of play with the tension a little and just get this thing uh, right where I want it but I am enjoying the power handle just for something different the 400 spool size is huge it's funny I posted like one picture on Instagram everyone's just like that's way too much line you have way too much line everyone's <laughs> they're all quick to comment on how stupid it seems to have this much line but Devin and I do really plan on using this in some inshore fishing and stuff like that in California possibly even uh, hitting up a little Catalina Island sesh in the future we've done that a couple times and uh, had a lot of fun with it when we visit San Diego area so it's gonna get put to use and have the potential to catch some big fish that are really gonna be fighting and taking out a lot of line. That's why we picked up the 400 over the 300. And we have a lot of big baits to throw for this reel right here, so check us out. We've got just little things like bluegill swim baits, two and a half ounce. This is a little over three ounces. This is our uh, glide bait we did a special Easter video on and caught some fish with recently. We're just trying to get into these big baits, so we had to up the ante and get another reel for this type of stuff, man. And so we've also got some choked custom swim baits. You saw the Huddleston in the video. We're getting ready to start throwing a lot of this stuff this spring. And uh, the bite on these is really, really hot right now. So I hope you all are enjoying this content. Drop a comment and let us know. We're probably going to end up even getting a second Tranks pretty soon. Just because it's not like a four or $500 reel. Um, and Devin and I are both wanting to throw some big swim baits. So maybe we can find another 8 foot swim bait rod for 40 bucks on Facebook Marketplace like this Defy Black and uh, both be chunking out the bigs. For now, we're just rocking the Powell rod that we have that's rated for up to three ounces, but it's a seven, six heavy. And then just, uh, you know, I think she had like the Corrado DC la uh, last night that she caught that fish on. So be looking out for that. You guys will catch you on those videos. Peace out. <gasps>